me do some dishes here. This sucker here needs to be watched a little bit more, cause I made my fruit smoothies this morning, and they were delicious. There was pineapple and banana, pineapple and banana, a great combination that nobody knows. Oh, a ho, a ho, a ha ho ho ha ha. Hey, there you are. I was looking for you everywhere. Now you're in this corner. Huh. Interesting how you guys went from my bed from my room all the way over here to the kitchen. I'd be darn. Hey there, it's Mike, and this is a yet another Mike's editorial, and this time we're gonna talk about our electronic social life. It just got me thinking as I was doing dishes, because I do it by hand. Because I don't have a dishwasher, and you know what that's a technology. You know, putting the dishes in the dishwasher and make them clean. I mean Technically, I'm doing laundry, and that's technology. Sure, we're not going to do it by hand like they used to back in the day, but hey, that is technology regardless. I'm mostly focusing on the electronic media, the portability of technology like the phones, laptops, and the internet in general. So, and here's the thing I notice is like with electronic media and the internet, we've been so isolated to our computers and phones. In the case of social media, however, we've gotten closer to making friends online with people that are not native to our location. So there's kind of opposites here and there. So let me put some more dishes in and I'll continue this. We've got so isolated with our computers and phones because there's lots of media online to take in, especially with YouTube and you know the online streaming services that you may use on a daily basis. It makes people so isolated because they're not making friends in person, making them shy uh, with uh, not being social in real life, you know? Um, but with online, however, there's there's no face-to-face -face contact. You're just, unless you're on Skype, that's a different thing. But if you're doing text-based, you know, chatting, you know, IMs kind of stuff, it's so much easier to chat with somebody online and then make that personal connection with a, maybe a common interest. And that's how I am sometimes. I'll get to more about me as an example later on. Um, dating. Online dating. This is the big one because this, this is the recent thing that just kind of blows my mind in general. It's hard to find someone to date. Remember the times we used to go to places, you know, go to the bars, go to, you know, the arcade, go to the mall maybe to meet girls, you know, or boys, vice versa, depending on where you go. But nowadays, you have to go online with these apps and sites, and you have to try to make connection with a female, you know, with common interests, of course, you know, like I said, got to make that connection somehow. I mean, and of course, you have the guy messaging the girl because... God knows there's a girl out there who likes a boy and wants to message him, but no, the guy has to make the first move all the time, and it's just nerve-wracking to come with an opening line and say, instead of saying, hey, how you doing? You know, you gotta, it's, I've been on so, uh, online dating for such a long time, it's just frustrating, but I guess there's a side that I can understand of all of this when it comes to the internet, with online dating, or even chatting with somebody online, is that the other side of the internet you don't know who the person is half the time. They might be fake or it could be somebody impersonating somebody else, you know? So you gotta really risk, you know, who you're chatting with. But that's the thing, you have to risk it, you know? Try to, and you can judge it for yourself who you can or cannot tr talk to. I mean, make your own judgments, people. Most likely, being isolated on your phones and, or computers, you're being at home and you're not out there being social, you know? And uh, that's the thing with some people. Some people might be, uh, you know, like that. I'm, I'm one of them. For example, I don't go out as often as I should, but I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of like thinking back, and it's like, maybe I should go out more, you know, be involved in the community and, you know, be social because life is precious, which I'll later repeat myself later on in this video. Do not get me started on pornography. That has the internet by the balls, quite literally. I mean, don't you remember a time where 
you know, used to go to like maybe the gas station at most or whatever kind of, you know, place to get your porn magazines just to get your business on. I mean, especially the guys. I mean, not a lot of girls do it, but guys out there, you know what I'm talking about. You go and get your Playboy, your Hustlers, and I mean, your Penthouse, man. But now the internet, man, the porn, the porn industry alone is something to be amazed at, especially with the internet nowadays. And you can get really suckered in with that. Oh my God, don't ever go down that rabbit hole. Like, that is, uh, that is, <laughs> um... But here's the thing. Uh, the internet has those rabbit holes for a reason. There's The internet is a huge place. It's probably bigger than the universe right now because there are so many sites. There's so many videos. There's so many things to see and probably play with. There's games, too, you can play. Yes, there's gaming online. It's just there's endless things you could do online. You get suckered in. I mean, and that would probably make you lacking as a person because you're so sucked into the media around you with the internet and the technology. You know, you might be upgrading to the next, uh, upgrading to the latest and greatest phone. You know, if you're the iPhone kind of sewer, you go to the next iPhone. Or if you're like me with a Samsung Galaxy, you know, you go to the next one. Um, it's, it's upgrading technology. You want to get updated. You don't want to be left behind in the dust, you know. But that's the thing with me. For example, like I said, I don't go out as often. I'm I'm suckered into, you know, technology and media. But I still go to college. I still go in person in college. But yet I come back home and I do my homework and be myself alone. So that's the thing. And then, like I said, the the rabbit holes I get sucked into and I lose hours, hours wasted on the internet because I don't focus enough to do my homework and finish it on time um ultimately it depends on the person some people might have a group of friends you know family possible colleagues to hang out with in person within their daily life but so some people out there might have friends family and colleagues in their life but they normally just chat online and communicate online rather than meeting in person so where am I getting at with this video here? He's just talking mumble jumble crap all the time here. So honestly, in this generation, we need to control our use of technology as well as electronic media and the internet. Our time is precious. Seriously, I'm 27 years old. I just turned 27 and I've wasted most of my life on the internet and technology. But see, I'm still young. I'm trying. I'll probably experience more before I get really old. So, but other people out there, you're you're younger than me. You go out there and experience life. You know, you're still young. I mean, once you turn 18, you have a choice to live your life, move out of the house, go to college, maybe go get your education, get a job, but then explore, be adventurous. You know, take some risks in life, be more adventurous. You know, don't be shy, be bold. You know, this is what living life is. You got to survive and live. We have to live a life. You know, we might be shackled to our jobs or school, but otherwise you have to make the time to be out there and social. Don't get stuck on the phone or on the laptop. You get out there and do what you need to do. You know, experience it. You know, and then later on in life, be like, I'm glad I did that. Self-control is what we need to excel in life. Sometimes with being online, it lets us lose our control. We're losing our traditional life to technology and the inter internet. So why not just moderate our time with technology and, and the internet and go out and experience life itself? At least I'm going to try to moderate my use of technology and the internet. I'm Mike. This has been a public service announcement, a.k.a. my editorial, Mike's editorials. Hope you learned something, and uh, adios amigos.